It is time to talk turning centers and how these turning centers can help you. How many of you have heard of Nomura? Raise your hand. I see you. I know you have. That's right, you have. Been around since 2006 here with Gossiger. This is my buddy Mark, and we're going to talk about, for those of you who don't currently have one, my, why you might want to invest in one, and the differences and amplify those differences and successes where it might be unique to the Swiss world. So, Mark, thank you for being here. Sure. Let's get to topic number one right away, which I'm excited to talk about, and that's the overall amount of tools you have in this thing. Why am I seeing so many tools? Well, the reason is we want to be able to complete a part in one setting, right? So we have a lot of tools on the front and we have a good number of 16 tools in this machine on the back. And that enables us to make a complete part so that we don't have to take it and have another operation, like a secondary operation, which takes time and money. So you can make a cheaper part if you can do it all in one. The other reason is uh, we can split the cycle time between the two spindles. So we can try to balance out the cycle time. So the cycle time is not additive, it's all at the same time. So again, we have a lower cycle time and we have more parts. Lower cycle time, more parts, being less expensive, can probably win jobs, help with reshoring on that as well. Can I also do more complex parts with all of these tools on OP10 and OP20? Yes, so uh, you can do more complex parts to avoid secondary operations. And, and, uh, and one of my biggest pet peeves, if I'm being honest, Mark, is having to take what I thought to be a finished part, not finished, and put it on another machine. I've either made mistakes in the setup or I've lost money in downtime. Sometimes I've even lost small parts back when I used to work in the jewelry world. Right. Don't tell Hoover and Strong that, please, guys. I never lost a piece of gold ever. But <laughs> moving parts can be complicated now. Thermal expansion, when we're running 24 hours a day, seven days a week, where the Swiss world thrives on these small components, precision parts, bar feeds, feeding through the nights and weekends, right. thermal expansion can sometimes be an issue. How do you guys deal with that? Well, we, we first off have a full base casting and uh, we keep the oil inside that base. So the oil heats up during the machining process and it stays in the base keeps the base the same temperature, so it's very thermally stable. What that translates to is really holding size on the parts. So alternative to that would be to have a coolant tank that's separate out of sheet metal, and the oil comes through the machine, it's warm, but then goes out to a holding tank and lets the casting cool a little bit. So you have a fluctuation in temperature, and that means I've got to check parts more often, uh, and I need to adjust offsets. So we can avoid that, maybe run a little more unmanned uh, as a result of that. And um, it's a good advantage. Also, with this base casting, it's a lot of, lot of iron, a lot of good footprint on the ground. And we have a dovetail uh, head scraped way on the main axis. So it's a very strong platform. And that enables us to uh, have finer finishes, longer tool life, and uh, really helps us avoid maybe a, a secondary operation for grinding and less interruption uh, to change tools. So all of it equals more parts. Mark, this is, it's really making sense to me. We started with being able to do complex parts and if, even if they're not complex, finishing a part off the machine so we don't have to move it. Now we're balancing that thermal expansion so that we're not having to check every one part every five parts every 10 parts which would be the equivalent of shutting down a machine for a little bit because we don't want right. to make scrap parts so that removes that downtime plus you mentioned better finishes so maybe we don't have to do a secondary grinding operation longer tool right. life so we're saving money there as well it seems like ultimately the goal is to keep this thing running making precise parts and making us money but you know another one of my pet peeves mark is having to touch off the spindle every time I put a new tool in, which I had to do back in my lathe turning career. I was either using a piece of paper or cutting off the front end or trimming just off the top a little bit. And then I take a measurement of the part and it really was, let's say time consuming. Have you guys figured out a way to help with that also? Uh, of course. So we have of a tool. Course I like that. Of course we have, we've thought of everything. So we have a old fashioned tool presetter and we uh, look at the tool in a tool holder, there are quick change tool holders in here, and we put them in the tool holder outside the machine, and we set the tool tip to the X, Y, and Z zero. 
And so when we bring that uh, tool holder in here, we put it on the pins. There's two quick clamps and that tool tip is at the machine zero, zero, zero. So we're ready to cut apart right away. You may have to cut apart and make a couple offset changes, but you're going, you're not taking the time to go through the routine you described uh, to set up all your tools inside the machine. And what a tedious routine that was. So having this capability is certainly, certainly helpful. Gossiger has bought this product in since 2006. You know what Gossiger is known for on their service and support, which is very, very important to understand. For those of you who know this machine, you know what Mark is talking about. You can relate. You've had these successes, the ease of use, and you're probably trying to keep it a secret from your competitors. But if you don't know this machine, this is no mirror. And these are some of the successes that you can have as well. If you need to know more, reach out to my friend Mark, reach out to Gossiger. They're more than happy to help you and they're here to back you up on any service and support you need to go along with this machine. Mark, you're Thank incredible. You, you yeah. are just as flexible in conversation as this machine is. We're going to keep <laughs> him running 24 seven also. Just don't tell there him. We're going to feed him with coffee. Thank you all for all watching right. MTDC and C. We will see you again soon.